All right, guys, here we have the Soundstream Reference 500. A little bit beat up, but uh, still a cool old school amp from the early 90s, around 93, 94. These were classic Soundstream designs, and you can see we have it in the high powered mode. And what we're gonna try now is an eight ohms mono, which will give you an idea of what, I'm sorry, an eight ohms, yeah, eight ohms mono, but we only have one channel hooked up. So uh, we're gonna have to use a stereo mode here on the dyno, the two channel mode, so we can run it at eight ohms. This is gonna give us an idea of what the four ohm per channel uh, power is of this amp. So we'll just half whatever number we get and that'll give us the four ohm per channel wattage. So watch the bottom one. So 264, that's about 132 watts per channel at 1% distortion. And we'll go back and we're gonna try the uncertified mode. Again, two channel, eight ohms, just using one of the banks here on the amp dyno, one of the channels. Amp is rated 125 watts per channel and a four ohm, so we're beating that. 267, so just a little bit more at clipping, not much. I think it's gonna do any more than that, so we'll stop. And we'll try the dynamic run next. Again, two channel, eight ohm, start dyno. See if it does any more than 267 dynamically. This is doing a burst. It's doing a pulse wave, simulating music playback. We always expect to get more power using this mode. 329 watts, so that equates to um, what, almost 165 watts, 164 and a half watts per channel in the burst mode. So it gives you a little bit of idea of headroom. So there you go. Let's just get a four ohm bridge. First, we're gonna do certified. Let's see what we can get. It's like 371 watts at 1% distortion, 13.81 volts. Okay, so let's go back and let's try the uncertified run, mono at four ohms again. Let's take the track back, start dyno, start the track. Four ohms mono, uncertified. This is up to clipping. 379 watts. So quite a bit underrated now. Let's uh, let's try the dynamic burst mode. Again at four ohms mono. Start Dino, start the track, let's see what it does. It's rated at 500 watts in the four ohms mono. So even with dynamic burst, we're still not hitting 500 watts. So there you go. So we'll do a certified run first. Mono at two ohms. Start dyno and start the track. Let's watch the light show. Again, it's rated at 12 volts at 500 watts. So 490 watts at 13.59 volts. You see that? So a little less than uh, a little less than rated, but not too bad. Let's go back and try the uncertified run at two ohms mono. Start dyno and start at the track. Let's see if 
it, how much more it does at clipping. Should get over 500 watts if we got right at it. Yep. 513 watts at 13.53 volts. Not bad. Not bad for an old amp. She getting a little warm. Woo, yeah, warming her up. All right, so one more test for you guys. Let me go ahead and reset my track here. Let's go back. Let's do the dynamic power run. Mono at two ohms. And let me get it on the right track here. All right, start dyno, start the track. Let's see what she does. Six hundred thirty-one watts in the two ohms, thirteen point eight three volts. Well, there you have it, guys. Just a quick test behind the scenes here at the Old School Stereo.com test labs. Just having fun here with the SMD Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno and the Soundstream Reference Five Hundred. If you guys like these kind of tests, subscribe to my channel. More coming. Until next time, I'm out of here.